good morning students this is lecture 4 and in this lecture i am going to discuss electric force due to point charges so before moving on to the discussion about electric force first i want to discuss what is mean by a point charge so this is the definition for a point charge a point charge is a hypothetical charge located at a single point in space which means if you consider a charge if that charge is located at a point that means it is not spread it is almost at a point then you can say that the charge is a point charge so normally those charges which are having very negligible size they will be almost looking like they are at a point so those charges you can consider that it is a point charge so if you consider the case of electron electron is having very negligible size so if you place an electron at a place then it will be almost looking like a point a very very small point so electron can be considered as point charge so that is the definition for a point charge it is hypothetical charge located at a single point in space such a charge is said to be point charge most of the cases we will consider that electron is a point charge and why we are considering such a concept because if you assume that it is a point charge then the problem under consideration will become easy you can easily solve that problem that is why you are introducing the concept of point charges so that is about point charges now let us move on to electric force between point charges now listen here there are some charges given you can see here one positive charge and one negative charge they are placed near to each other there is some distance between this charge and this charge so this is positive and this is negative they are opposite charges when there are opposite charges it is said to be unlike charges so opposite charges are called unlike charges so you can say that this positive charge and negative charge they are unlike charges and they are placed some distance away because they are unlike charges you can see that this positive charge will attract this negative charge towards it and this negative charge will attract this positive charge towards it so here that is represented by arrows this arrow if you consider this means this positive charge is attracted towards this negative charge and this arrow means this negative charge is attracted towards this positive charge so arrows gives the direction of force since it is attraction this positive is moving towards negative and this negative is moving towards positive so since positive is moving towards negative arrow is like this since negative is moving towards positive arrow is like this so that is the meaning of arrow now if you move on to the next figure you can see that there are two similar type of charges positive and positive as well as negative and negative when there are similar types of similar type of charges then such charges are called like charges so in the case of like charges if you observe the diagram you can see that this is positive this is positive when they are like charges then it will repel there will be repulsive force between this positive and this positive so this positive will move away from this positive and this positive will move away from this positive since this is moving away means arrow is like this and this is moving away arrow is like this same case for negative also here two charges are there both are negative charges so there will be repulsive force between this negative charge and this negative charge since it is repulsive 
this charge will move away that is why arrow is like this and this charge will move away that is why arrow is like this so whenever there are like charges like means same type of charges there will be repulsive force and whenever there are unlike charges means opposite type of charges there will be attractive force so electric force it can be attractive as well as repulsive depends upon the type of charges if unlike charges are there then it will be attractive and if like charges are there then it will be repulsive this electric force is also called as electrostatic force because these charges are not moving they are at a rest all the charges are at a rest so there is a force due to charges which are at rest and such a force is also called as electrostatic force static means at a rest so there will be a force of attraction between this charge which is at rest and between this charge which is at rest so this is also called as electrostatic force of attraction this is also called as electrostatic force of repulsion now how to find this electrostatic force of attraction what is the value of that force or what is the value of this electrostatic repulsion how to find that value you can easily find it by using a law which is called coulomb's law which i will discuss in the next lecture so in this lecture i discussed what is meant by a point charge and what is the concept of electric force between point charges i hope it is clear so point charge means a charge which is located at a single point in space which is not spread at in space which took only very small space it is called a point charge example is electron now such charges are placed at some distance away there will be either attractive force or repulsive force depends upon the configuration if they are unlike charges there will be attractive force and if they are like charges there will be repulsive force